Oh, happy Friday to you, sir. Yeah, happy Friday to you too, guy. We've made it through another week. Blimey. Oh, let me hide the screen share. Wait a minute. Oops. Well, we're always refining and making this better every time we do it. This morning, thanks to the uh, blessings of firetalk.com, we're back to our original format, recording it from Firetalk. And on Fridays, we do the wrap up of the episodes of the previous week. And and we're giving a shout out to firetalk.com in the show notes, as you can see there, because they are a big part of making that happen. We appreciate their uh, giving us, what was it? What did I say? 30 days, 30 days more of uh, this venue until their tier levels come up final and stone. But in order to get done in our Friday wrap up, let's go to Monday. On Monday, we talked about the landing page optimization. When I went to that link and conversion basin, it had a lot of different things available in their document. And there's nine chapters in the document, everything from landing page fundamentals. I'm not going to read this whole thing to you down to the tools that make your life easier. Okay. You simply go to the show notes, go to that link at the bottom, says download the PDF, and you'll have that handy reference available to you all the time. And now, because I was asleep at the switch, I'll maximize the window and the recording will look better, right? Doesn't that look better? I think so. Say, yes, it looks much better, guys. Looks much better, guy. Thank you. So, now that guy's got his ducks in a row, and I was just telling somebody earlier to get a second cup of coffee, you wake up. Maybe I need more coffee. Tuesday, on SEO Tips Tuesday, one of our, I guess if we had to hold up the measure of the shows that get the most engagement, the most shares, the links and clicks, I think SEO Tips Tuesday or B2B Thursday are probably the two big ones. But this past Tuesday, Hrefs got a link of over 200 SEO tips, and they've got a lot of pieces of information there. And like it says, there are over 200. Okay. I then went in and doing the research, I found Matthew Woodward in the UK has got a list of free tutorials. So every time you're said, oh, well, we can do that for $200, we'll, we'll do the keyword research. Or this book is only $50. Don't do it. Go to Matthew Woodward's links. Get the free stuff. I mean, we're not rich, right? Not right. yet. We're, we're trying, but uh, on that subject of being rich, there's a, a link on the, on the show notes every episode. Being a patron on Podbean, click that and make it happen. And Wednesday, what's on our mind Wednesday? That was the day we found out that the Fire Talk was changing their level of engagement. The Tier 1 project was giving you just 10 minutes of free time, no screen share, and that really bent the Guy or Crip report quite a bit, quite a bit. We had to do some press digitation yesterday, a little bit of magic. We got her done, but it was not easy done. So then we sniveled. Isn't that the right word? That's snivel, right? Probably. Pretty much what we did. And and they said, well, we'll give you 30 days of the old way and we'll have the new tiers up by then. And so then we went on a Wednesday after we got that out of the way. And we talked about optimization for mobile. If you're doing SEO, that's all well and good. But the SEO for mobile needs to be paid attention to because, let's face it, smartphones aren't going away. The search is only 11% behind desktop search. Google, when they check your website to see if it's mobile ready or not, ranks it accordingly. If you're not mobile ready, you'll go in this direction. If you are mobile ready, you go in this direction. That was up and down if you're not looking. And I suppose you're not looking because I've got it on the show. <laughs> anyway, let's see what we did on Thursday. And Thursday B2B show, we went to the developers.google.com serv server and got this checklist that covers the basic steps for integrating your site. And if you have an app, you'll notice that in the show notes for that day in the video, we, 
we'll forgive you if you don't have an app. But it talks about how to set up and explore the basics, how to get indexed, the testing, everything. The analyzation. Okay, the first rung of this ladder, if it were a ladder, up here at the top, it says register and verify your site on Search Console, the old what used to be Webmaster Tools. And I said to Kelvin, nope, that's not the first thing you do. The first thing you do is go to myaccount.google.com and create a Google account. Then all these other tools will be available to you. <coughs> if you don't have the Google account first, well, you're not doing it right. So get your Google account set up. And again, those links are all available on this URL, the com, And it'll be the, today's date, of course. I don't have the show recording done, so we don't have today's up. But it'll go right to this here, and then you'll see a hyperlink with today's date. Click on that. And when you do... Bazinga, it'll take you to the show notes for that day, okay? So when you see the one up there for Friday, for today's show, <coughs> you'll get to go to the show notes. When you do, you'll see down at the bottom, we'll, we'll pick on Thursday's show notes, down at the bottom where we thank Fraser Ramsey at Edinburgh Desters, a company that likes to clean. He's still on holiday, he's still sunburned. But not as bad. He's, sunburn's a bit better. And thank you for Eileen Smith, etc. Basicblogtips.com, where she first used Screencast-O-Matic, which gives us high-definition video and a lot of other things. And then it goes on to say, for instance, just chatting. Now, you want to look for this logo, and you've got to the right Facebook group. When you see this one, ask to become a member. And one of the admins, this guy next to me, will say, okay, you can play or not and go on from there. For instance, chatting, great place to be every weekday morning, Monday through Friday. And so, and the show it also says follow the Guy or Cook Report on Twitter. When you get there, it'll look like this. You'll see that yellow square. And in the both the Twitter and in the Facebook page, we'll have things in there separate and apart for the Guy or Cook Report that we don't cover in the show, like... Uh, Last evening, or yesterday actually, about 16 hours ago, the Google Cloud talked about the name change for Google Apps. It's now going to be called G Suite. And so, I think I'll say, did I forget anything? Um, I don't think so. <clears throat> well, that's a good sign. That means I can say those three magic words that conclude this show. Thanks to everyone in the chat that joined us today. And have a good weekend, and we'll see you on Monday. And on that note, it's a wrap.